Hello, everybody. Let's see. Let me get that lighting any better. I'm still working on adjusting the lighting and camera and all that. And while we do this, let me see if I'm showing up here on live. Okay. I have a few ladies who like me to um, add them, so I'm going to just do that really quick. not allowing me to oh, wait there we go okay I think I've done this okay how do I get out of this now there we go all right so let's see I can see some people Janet hello Karen, hello. Madison, hello. Um, oh, Tater. <laughs> Did you put Tater Top Tatum on? <laughs> Nancy, Laura, Madison. Everyone, welcome in. How are you guys doing? Kristen, hello. Perfect. Is Bill on? I can't tell. Yay. There's my Piccadilly Pearls right there, Kristen and Karen. Okay. Hi, Brina. Hi, Joy. <laughs> oh, thank you, Brina, for sharing. Yep, share my video to be entered into a drawing. Oh, Barb. Hello, Barb. Hi, Kelly. Thanks for joining. I'm glad you got your ribbon. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to try to do things a little bit different. First of all, let's see um, if anyone can tell me how the lighting's doing. Can someone give me some hearts or thumbs up or something? Thanks, Madison, for sharing. Thanks, Kristen, for sharing. Um, can I get some thumbs up if, if the lighting's good? You guys can see well. Great. Okay, there they come. Woo! I forget there's a 23 second delay. Okay, so right here in front, I don't know who all had a chance to read my um, wall today, but um, I had shared a little story about this pearl. And yesterday I was later at night working on um, some projects and trying to get some inspiration on some new stuff that's coming up and as demonstrators we get some of the new stuff um, ahead of time so that we can get samples and stuff ready um, for you guys to, to see um, what the products do and this is um, one of the new artisan pearls and they're colored pearls I don't know if that shows up very well or not anyway so I had one of these. These are kind of the little ones. I had one of these, and a lot of times I just use my um, paper snips to pick them up. Like I kind of grip them like that. Well, anyway, the little sucker got away from me, and I'm telling you, I tore my area apart looking for it underneath stuff on the floor. And there are a lot of times that I will find pearls and rhinestones and things, embellishments that are, um, I. I find them later and they're stuck to the carpet or something and I end up vacuuming them up. So I just thought they would be gone. And so I gave up on it and I used a different pearl for what I was doing and then I went to bed. And in the middle of the night, Iowa has been having some weather that has been um, kind of unprecedented for April. Um, normally we're in the 50s, 60s area and we've been getting snowstorms and then rainstorms and thunderstorms. As of last night we had thunder, rain, hail, sleet. Um, 
and then snow this morning. So, um, I lost what I was gonna say. It was that quick. Um, I tell you sometimes. Well, anyway, I went to bed and it and I my leg started to itch after I was sleeping for a while. So I would scratch my leg and it would go away and I didn't think anything of it. And I was sleeping in pajamas and um because it's cold right now. And so um I think what happened was I woke up this morning and um this little pearl was stuck to my leg. And I think what was happening is I was scratching it off and then it would roll into my pajama bottoms and it would um sit there until I rolled over again and I'd roll back on it and then it itch again from the sticky. So anyway, I've decided since, you know, we have now actually slept together that this is now going to be my um, mascot, my Piccadilly mascot. And the funny thing of it is, is that I actually call my um, downline who joined underneath of me the Piccadilly Pearls. So here you go, girls. Here's the Piccadilly Pearl. <laughs> Anyway, so we're just going to put Pearl right there. And my daughter will love this because um, a few years back we had a mishap with a pickle and we named him Merle. So now we have Merle and Pearl. But anyway, on with our show today, it looks like everyone's kind of um, gathered. So um, today's kind of a special one for me because um, I decided that I wanted to talk about well, let's just see. How many of you uh, stampers that are already established crafters, paper crafters, how many of you have excess um, DSP that's left over from projects and maybe that is retired or, um, oh, Jenna, you're the last one to talk about cracking you up because you crack me up, girl. Um, how much do you have leftover? Do you guys have some leftover stuff? Okay. Well, most of us do. We get into a hort mode. Like, this is one of my favorite pieces of paper, and so I don't like to cut it. Actually, I have I have another one here that um, I think it's from the Whole Lot of Lovely. I get, every now and again, I get a piece of paper that I just don't want to cut because I really like it. Well, anyway, today we're going to work on, one, using up DSP because it does no good, even though I like it so much, it does no good sitting here like this. I need to make this into a card. I may need to make this into a box and bring joy to someone else's life. So there's my first rule. We got to start using our stuff, and I'm going to talk about that. But the other thing is, is um, May Day is coming up. May Day was my grandmother on my mother's side. Um, it was her birthday, and when I was very young, um, my mom used to um, do May baskets with me and um, not just to kind of, I don't know, celebrate grandma, but it was just kind of our thing. And we used to do the old kind where you would, you know, you'd roll them up. Okay, this paper isn't quite, this is kind of a thicker paper, but you'd roll them up into the cone. Do you guys remember that when you were a kid? Maybe I'm too old. Okay, this paper's too thick. Do I have a thinner piece? You'd roll it up like so that it would make like a like a cone shape. This isn't exactly square, but you'd make a cone shape and then you'd put like a pipe cleaner so you could hang it. Of course this was tighter down at the bottom. And then you could hang it on someone's door and you'd fill it up with popcorn and candy and small toys or whatever you had. Okay, so Looks like there might be a few people that know that. Uh, Jenna, over 100 packs of unused paper. Okay, well then, Jenna, you need this video today. <laughs> so, anyway, I like that cone look instead of a May Day basket, quote-unquote. So I wanted to kind of do something with that cone look. And I wanted to use up some paper. We've got, this is still current paper, but it will be going out. And I've got quite a bit of this pack left up, mostly because it's so pretty. I hate cutting it. But I've made some picture frames with it and stuff, and I'll have to get busy and make some more things with it. But anyway, um, so I wanted to use one. I wanted to use some of the Myths and Magics. And so let me just get in and kind of show you some stuff. So where do I want to start? Well, 
here was my first attempt and I wanted to do my grandmother had blue eyes and um, so I thought I'll just take our sweet and sassy framelits and I used the biggest one we had there's 15 heart shapes and there's this kind of heart shape and this kind of heart shape it's got a little bit one's got a little bit more of a curve at the bottom okay well when you cut those out it doesn't quite come together the way it needed to come together I needed this to come together with a straight edge so I ended up having to cut off a piece of that to do that but this is what I came up with and this is fine um, you know you can put a small amount of candy in there but it wasn't quite what I grew up with but it does give you that cone look so and I liked it because it had it reminded me grandma looked really good in blue so there's my grandma spiel um, so then of course that's when I saw this paper and I thought, oh, I got an idea. Well, this paper kind of stands up on its own. It's so pretty. This is a different um, sheet that I used. And then I used it so that the front side, this is the front side I'm calling it. And this is the back side because it's two-sided paper. So my first attempt was to take the two sheets of paper and put them together because I had this idea and then I was going to glue it around here and then open it up and get that cone look. Okay, well, there was flaws in that. It took me uh, probably all morning to figure this out. First, it doesn't make that cone the way it, like this one does. Let me show you here. So you get a nice cone in there, which can hold some stuff. So um, it doesn't make that nice cone and it then when I when I did do my first attempt it um you know I had the one side on the one side so I had the two coordinating sides but that isn't very sturdy so I needed a way to make it sturdy so I'm going to show you how I did that I folded the sides well I'll show you when we get going with the next one with the next thing so this is this what is the name of this paper? In case someone does want it, I should probably have the name. Uh, Painted with Love Specialty Series paper. So then I decided that tonight I wanted to make, because this is really pretty and this would be great for um, like your roommate to hang on her door and knock and run or um, a girlfriend, but... Um, I wanted to do one for kind of kids because it was kind of a childhood memory for me. So I got out the, let's see what the name of this one is, the Myths and Magic specialty paper. And I got out Madison, I hope you're watching, um, the um, unicorn. It's got little sparkles. I don't know if this paper shows very well. But it's got little sparkles in it, little glitter, and all these little unicorns. She's really into the dragons and the seahorse, too, but it's really cute, and it's fun for kids. So, um, I knew that I was going to need a little bit bigger than what our framelits gave us for what I wanted to do. So, if you're good at drawing a heart, because you need it to be kind of symmetrical without that curved tail, um, you can just draw a template, or I know that they've got, like, clip art things that you can get online for free if you're not so good at it. I didn't do too bad. But anyway, I just traced them on my paper and cut them out. That's all I did. Okay, so I'm going to move this out of the way. And then we're going to start our... So originally I was telling about the two pieces of paper and this one, the back side and the front side. And I wanted to also show that sometimes your items don't have to be just for Valentine's Day. I mean, you could decorate up your own DSP by using hearts or whatever you want to do just for you to make that with a um, duet banner. Because if I don't say 
say what stamp set it comes from. Someone will say, that's sure do love you, and it is still available. Someone will say for my videos, what did you use on there? And I think, well, what thing? So, okay. So all you want to do is fold it in half, like, like this. And it's a little harder than it looks. And so I want to tell you a couple things, because I've been making these kind of all day, that I learned. One, and I would say before I get going, because I know someone will ask me. The heart is about a five inch heart by a five inch heart going across. Okay, that part's done. So I kind of put this together because it was the easiest for me to line up. And these don't have to be perfectly, perfectly cut. And you'll see why here in a little bit. And I kind of walk it around. And this is where it gets a little bit hard, especially with the thicker DSP like this. Um, is you gotta try, ooh, I didn't do too bad actually. You gotta try to get that point together. Now, oh, I did really good. Okay, and if you don't get that point together, and I've had a couple of them, then you end up with a gap in your, at the bottom. So one of the things that I found is sometimes you're just a smidge off. If you just take your paper snips and you just go through until you, and clip that little bit off until you get that perfect point, um, then you're then it'll glue together better. And I've I've done a couple things with gluing, and I'm about to show you on that too. So. Let's see. Are there any questions? Kathy, you have no sound. Can everyone else hear me? Hi, Josh. Thanks for coming. Okay, so I'm being heard from other folks. Okay. Um, yeah, maybe go back out and come back in. I wonder if it's because of the storming in this area. Okay, thanks, Kristen. Um, okay, back to where I am while, while they try to figure that out. So what I want to do is I want to take my heart pieces and I want to actually end up making another heart using the opposite sides, like so. That's how I get that cone. So here's what I did, and here's a couple of secrets. And some will like it, some won't, I have a feeling. But this is what I did. And, okay. I want the unicorns showing Instead of, I did, the other thing of it is, is on the one I did, did it the other way, so I had two sides like this. But on this one, I just want to have both of the unicorns showing. Because, you know, not everybody has to be a little girl with flowers and ribbons. There could be some little boys in there that might want a treat. So, this is my Andy pen. I don't know if Andy's on or not, but I want to make a little tick mark here at the top a little tick mark here in the middle and a little tick mark here at the end and it's not going to quite look at me and it's okay that it's on there because I'm going to cover it up but the reason why let's get some tear and tape out this stuff is sticky and since I'm not having I'm not going to continue with um, the what is this called? The fast fuse anymore. I'm learning how to use this and actually I'm I'm really liking it kind of. I feel like sometimes I have just a little bit more control. So as long as I'm not going over any of my tick marks, I'm going to go ahead and put this on here and then pull off the 
Uh, well, maybe. I lost my nails there, so struggling. Okay, and then I want to use a little of the Tombow. This stuff is really sticky, but that's going to hold that inside flap, but I want to make sure that I'm holding this outside flap, or this part down. So I just kind of follow those tick marks right on that edge and go kind of in that circular pattern. That way I know that it's getting clued glued right to the edge but not going over my project. The ends are what's important to line up. So line up the ends first. It got cold here in Iowa and my hands are purple and I'm wearing my husband's sweatshirt I'm trying to stay warm because my workspace is in, an, in the basement and it's cold. Okay, stick that down. So now what you got is this. We're going to go the other side this time. Tick, tick, talk. And I'm going to do the exact same thing. I had left-handed abilities better than I do because I have no nails on my right two fingers that I'm dominant with. There we go. And again, follow those tick marks. Madison, you understand the old lefty thing. And don't do what I just did there after I just get done telling you to follow the tick marks. Okay. Okay. Takes a minute, but there you go. So now it's time to decorate. So, don't do this mistake. I started to make my little unicorn for decoration on regular cardstock instead of the thick Whisper White cardstock. And what you get is bleeding. But when I do it on the thick, I don't get the bleeding. So, this is easy enough. Just be sure to use the Memento ink on the thick Whisper White cardstock. And we're going to get this unicorn. Hey, is Andy here? Does anybody know if Andy's here? I'm doing a unicorn. Makes me think of her. I'll just flip this over. Ta-da! Isn't he cute? I just love his little butt. This cute little butt. Okay, I'm going to use the Stampin' Blends. That's why I use the Memento on the thick. And my biggest, um, I would say my biggest tip for that is um, to remember not to hang out by the lines. And um, because it's an alcohol-based marker and so paper is a wicket through even though this is the thick. But if you don't stay by the lines, it doesn't do that. And so what I have about here is I have um, the two light and dark pool parties. I have the uh, color lifter. And then I have the Rita Bay light. So I start with the dark pool party. And you like, and I like to start with that little tushy and very quickly uh, 
and I don't do the whole thing but like that actually I'm going to just leave that out leave that open I mean because I'm going to come back and then I'm going to blend it with the light pool party I'm going to come back and do the back of that leg and the back side here and I suppose the underside of his belly is going to be a little darker Don't want to put too much pressure with these markers. They're different than the other markers. You will get those ends to kind of fray. So light touch is best. Back of his nose, because his head's turned, is going to be darker. Oh my gosh, he's cute. This set, I don't know, when I first saw it, I wasn't quite sure, and then, I don't know, I started seeing stuff with it, and it was like, oh, I gotta have it, I gotta have it, I gotta have it. Okay, I'm gonna do, in the dark pool party, I'm just gonna do the, his whole horn and his ear. And then I'm gonna go back in with the light Bermuda Bay and I'm going to color in the horns, every other one. And then I'll start coloring in his hair. And I'm going to go every other one. Because, oops, so weird. I'm doing it so far away from where I normally would have my head and face. So it's hard to see. And then I'm going to come back in. Same thing with the tail. <gasps> Brenda! Hi! I just stopped and looked over and saw you. Okay. So then, color that all in. Dun da da da. A little unicorn. Then I'm going to use the color lifter because I think right on his neck and chest here, he'd probably have a highlight since the since the lights come in that way. Okay, this was just kind of to show you how to do it. I happen to have one already done. So we're going to bring out Oops. I swear to you I do. <laughs> sure you do. Okay. We also need to stamp um, from the stamp set and this is from Magical Day stamp set. Here's the little unicorn and the paper that we're using from it, but I'm going to put your one of a kind on here. So I'm just going to go ahead and use the memento since I have that handy. Ink all up. Stamp it down. And then this stamp set also comes with matching framelits. So I'm going to run that through the Big Shot, and you know what, just because it's the magic of live, Facebook Live, I have that done. But I ran it through twice and I used some of the um, glimmer paper. I'm, I'm kind of making this, I haven't made one of these, so I'm kind of making this up as I go. 
and um, I punched out a two inch circle punch out of just a scrap piece of coordinating um, cardstock. What I want to do is I want to take this and cut that in half. And I'm trying to determine, I'm going to glue that down. This will take just a second to give a little bit of bling bling. This is um, the myths and myth, mythical, uh, myths and magic, magical day um, in the occasions catalog, and it's the glimmer paper that they have with it, and it comes with like a, a turquoise, um, a this color which they are calling light green, but it looks like lemon lime twist to me, and then. Um, what was the other one? Iridescent. It comes with an iridescent. Okay. I can't function without these two nails, and those are the two that I broke off. Okay, so you see what I did? I just took it and made it longer. Make sure that's kind of even. Nope, this isn't. So we're going to let that dry a minute. It takes just a minute on that glimmer paper. And then I think what we'll do with the two inch circle punch, let's, let's pop. Oh, I have one left on this page. Let's just pop him up like so. You know, I might have him just be a little higher on the circle. Okay, now that's dried really well. So this is thicker paper and the hearts come like this and like this on the inside. So see this took care of that. I was telling you about how having the two pieces of paper glued like this, it was very weak. So this took care of that being weak and it plus it also reinforced here. But that's a lot to punch through. So years ago, we don't sell these anymore, but this is a crocodile from Stampin' Up! years ago. I know you can still get them places, but I need something that I can get through. So I'm using the largest circle punch on here. And I want it to be, this paper's going here and this paper's going here. I don't want this on the edge, because I found out the hard way on that. And I don't want it on the edge of this one. I want it right in the middle here. So establish that before you put this in and you're going to go through all four layers of cardstock plus there we go there you go there you go I'm getting out my measuring tool this is our whisper white and I Organza ribbon that's also in the catalog in the occasions catalog I want an inch and a half I did a couple of things with this it's not because I'm making bows but I did a, I've done quite a few of these today and um, it's probably the easiest one that I found to work with but also I, I like a little extra room because I'm going to be tying this bow on the inside so So thread it from the outside in, and while I'm doing this, I'll try to look over and see. That's a scary big tool. <laughs> we used to sell those, Joy. Um, I know that they have them at the, the chain stores still. They're called a crocodile, and I don't use it very often anymore, but when you've got to go through something that's kind of um, thick, because um, it'll go through chipboard, and so that's that's why. Oh, Kristen Tatum showed up! Yay! If people haven't figured out, Kristen and Ta Kristen Tatum and Tater Tatum are related. <laughs> They're married, 
and they got the cutest little boy Franklin. Oh my God, he's so cute. Okay, so then the same thing, you wanna go from the outside in and tie it on the inside. And all I did is just a granny knot. Okay. The second one's a little harder than the first one, but be sure to get your hands kind of on the inside. Did um did uh Kathy ever come back? Did she ever get it figured out? Does anyone know? You were thinking the same thing as it was a scary tool, Madison? I apparently cannot read the screen and craft at the same time. Okay, so here we go. Yay. Now, if you want to cut these down, you can, but don't cut them too close. Like, cut them like that. Because we're going to fill these puppies. All right, so, oh, it's so cute. I think I like this one because there's more of my aqua colored. I think because this is um, got a lot of glimmer on it, I'm gonna use the tear and tape again. This is, I haven't used this that much, but I've started using it recently, and actually it's kind of becoming my best friend, other than the fact that I have no nails at the moment, so it's hard to peel off the backing for me. Okay, so let's put him right up here cute 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 and then that's dried now yay and I feel like I want to pop that up so we'll just use perfect I'm gonna use a big chunk of this edge to go right here Oh my gosh, I'll never break my nails down that much again. There we go. Okay, this is the first time I've made one like this. I've made a lot of these. Uh, now, you can stuff some, I did like some shred down in them. What I liked about this is, look at this, if you get these cute little Ghirardelli chocolates that are gold, or even the, um, gold Reese's peanut butter cups and if anyone wants to donate these to me they can my doctor will tell you I'm not supposed to have them but I love these Ghirardelli's love them but I love how that matches I think that's cute but for today we got kitties and I still have a bunch of candy when I went to on stage you guys gave us a lot of candy I still have a bunch of candy left over from everyone so I mean you can really fill these Oh, got to have Smarties for Andy because we're doing the unicorn. But, I mean, maybe that's too big. Oh, my gosh, look at how cute that is. Can you guys see that? I look back and I see that. Yeah, I was talking about you, Kathy. I look back and I see that I'm on a delay, so I'm getting excited and you guys aren't even there yet. Oh, that came out so stinking cute. I love it. Okay, let me show you something else. So there's that. Well, I'm going to have candy everywhere. You know, now my husband has seen that I have a candy stash. That might be kind of trouble. I might not have a candy stash for very long. Okay, so here's another one that I did today. Aw, I knocked over Pearl. 
So here's another one that I did today. Now this one, I really like this actually. I think this is kind of springy. I think this would be cute if you have a coworker, you could hang it on their door to their office. Um, but this was just the pansy punch that I just cut out. Um, this is some DSP from, I think it's the Petal Palette, I think, which is also in the occasion. And then all I did is just put a doily over it. And I think that turned out really cute too. Madison says, love your reactions while you work. Why? What did I get it? I must have, did I get excited and embarrass you any? So, I think out of the um, two, this one I did the same way that I, that I did these other ones. Um, I think out of the two, I thought I was going to like this going the two different sides, but I ended up kind of liking doing the two sides the same. But I mean, obviously you can do whatever you want. I have others, but I have a, quite a few duds, so I don't want to show you the duds. <laughs> okay. Oh, Marsha, you just got on here. Well, I'm glad you did. Hi, Joanne. Oh, I got to talk to you. Oh, my chocolate stain in my craft room disappeared when I was cleaning. I found the bowl with wrappers under the bed. <laughs> That's funny. James didn't admit to eating it, of course. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is so funny. <laughs> um, I wish I could read your guys' comments more often. <laughs> so anyway, okay. So here we go. Um, share my video to be entered into a drawing. So this video that you're watching right now, whether it goes off or not, share it. Your name will be put into a drawing. Um, if you want to purchase any of these items, and of course, if you have any questions, please email me. Um, it's right on my link. Um, or you can Facebook message me too. So anyway, use host code ASP. P or AS2 PC MHG for all orders that are 150 or less. If they're 150 or more, I don't want you to use that because I want you to get the, the host rewards. Um, follow me on Pinterest, YouTube. Word of mouth is how my business is growing and it is actually starting to take off here. Um, and so I'm pretty excited about that, so share with anybody who you think might be interested, even anybody who you don't think might be interested. I've been surprised at some of the stuff that's been happening. I only did the one project today, and I'm just going to kind of ask a question. Um, sometimes I do more than one. Sometimes I just do the one. Some people say my videos are too long. Some people say they're not long enough. Um, I guess maybe just kind of a public poll if someone could... Um, let me know what they like. I would appreciate that. I'm trying to kind of determine what people are liking and what they aren't liking. But remember, either way, I'm going to be here every Wednesday night at 7 p.m. Um, if you want to join my team, I'd love to have you. Uh, like I said, the, um, my ladies in my group are called the Piccadilly Pearls, and we would love to have you. You can find my link um, are my blog at on my blog for pick at piccadilly stamping dot blogspot dot com also right here on facebook i'm also on youtube you guys just follow me on there and it will send you the links really quick to my videos that i make so okay let's go to tonight's drawing so, i got a bunch of them in here Also, let me know that you shared, because sometimes you guys have privacy settings and it doesn't let me know that you shared. And I can't go looking at everybody's wall to see. So, okay. All right. Here we go. Drum roll. Marsha Abbas. 
Oh, I hope Marsha's on. Are you on? You won tonight. Oh, good. Tater, I'm going to throw you in that um, next time since you put shared. Don't think I won't. Um, Marsha Abbas, you won this time. I can't tell if she's or not. Okay. Here is what you won. Drum roll. You won the Myths and Magic 6x6 Glimmer Paper. And like I said, it comes with the, the green that we use tonight. It has like a turquoise and then it has an iridescent. So awesome, 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 awesome. Congratulations. Thanks, everyone, for um, sticking with me and stopping by tonight. I do appreciate it, and I will see you next week. Take care. Bye-bye.